Hey everyone, today I have an awesome product to show you guys. It's the Seek Outside Titanium Wood Stove. Don't go anywhere, you're watching Living Survival. So last year I reviewed a four-man teepee from Seek Outside with a light outdoor cylinder stove. This year I've got the same teepee. This time we're gonna test out the Seek Outside titanium box stove and I have it all packed with me the TP the stove the pole the stakes food I even have a cot that I'm testing out all packed in this Sabra bag now obviously if I was going for an overnighter I would have to pack a sleep system additional clothing and things like that so I'd need a bigger pack but it's a true testament to this pack that I can strap as much gear as I have onto it all right, so we got the TP set up. It's the exact same TP as I set up last year. I had to send the other one back, but they sent me another one this year. And along with it, they sent one of their titanium box stoves. So we got the TP set up, and uh, the whole entire stove fits down into this nice little pouch. So as you saw in the beginning, I was able to carry the TP, the stove, a cot, a wool blanket, food, and supplies for the day, all in that. Uh, small backpack. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, the titanium stove put together. It's very simple uh, You got a, a stove pipe there and you always want to burn in your stove and that's what we're doing today We're not doing any camping. We're not staying overnight or anything. We're just burning in the stove once you burn in the stove the uh, stove pipe will go together a lot quicker So the front and the back simply just slide into each other like this. And the bottom just goes on and I'm gonna I'm gonna string throw these four bolts in here now they have these flat eyelets or whatever they're called that go on the other end and then we can just place the top section right on top. Get these started so they don't pop off on me. I just want these to go to the surface and then I can tighten from the bottom. Just want them to go in like that. And I can just tighten these down from the bottom. So here's the little titanium box stove. Just screwed the legs on and then put the stove pipe in. It does have a spark arrestor with a damper right here. It also has an adjustable uh, intake and then of course you got your spot for the wood there and it goes all the way up and through the stove jack there again you can see how I did it with the cylinder stove last year this stove is a little smaller and it's a box stove which is nice so we're gonna burn it in and uh, do some cooking on it all right so we're doing the initial burn and I've got everything wide open this wood is pretty wet today that I've got so getting it heated up with it wide open and that's what it looks like from the outside so this stove is the seek outside titanium wood stove I believe it's 8 by 8 by 14 and then you've got your spark arrestor and damper there 
and your stove pipe that goes up through the stove jack. Now you can see that there's plenty of room right there for someone to sleep, plenty of room in the back for somebody to sleep, and then definitely on this side, two people could sleep. So it's definitely, it would be cramped with four, but with two and all your gear, and even a dog, there's plenty of space in here. Already this has only been burning for about five minutes and it's just sucking the air in. You can hear it, it's just roaring in there. Extremely efficient, I'm very happy with it so far. And it's starting to warm up very quickly. While we're out here burning it in, we're just gonna cook up some tea, some hot chocolate, and some food. So it's very warm in here. I have the damper almost all the way off and the, uh, the intake about half. And it's awesome. You can really control your burn that way. So if you want it hotter, you can introduce more air. If your wood's going out, you can see mine's burning really good. So I can shut it down. I can probably shut this damper a little bit more and that'll retain the heat in the box. Good for when you're cooking or good for when you want to warm it up real quick. We can take a look at the temperature and it's 77 degrees in here right now. And it's, it's about hot. 20 degrees outside. So it's definitely doing its job and heating the teepee up. And like I said, once you get it nice and hot, you can shut down your intake a little bit and shut your damp damper and really keep a lot of that heat in the box once you get it going. I really like the size of it. I really like the ease of setup. And uh, we're getting a good, good burn in going here. I'd like it to burn all the way up the top, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough time for that today. But that's okay. We're just making some food, waiting for one of these backpackers pantries to cook. And then we're gonna eat. Cooking a couple bagels on here. And I got a titanium plate and that works good. That's just a uh, makeshift pan. So Kristen's cooking a little turkey sausage and some English muffins. So we're having a backpacker's pantry today. They uh, sent me some new flavors to try. This is the chicken piccata with tagliatelle pasta. It's basically just pasta with uh, some capers and lemon. Pretty good. I forgot my long spoon today. I usually bring that to mix it, but uh, it works. And then, nice thing is you can just seal these right back up when you're done, or you can, of course, put it in your cup, but you don't need to dirty up a pot. The stove worked excellent. I got the stove pretty well burned in. We're just letting it cool down now. The stove pipe is about maybe a quarter or a third of the way burned in. So, uh, you guys will see more videos with this stove and teepee coming up and I just wanted to get a first burn on the teepee before I take it out on an actual overnight. I've got lots of gear to show you guys uh, that I'm going to use this teepee and stove for. That cot over there for example. I've got sleeping pads, sleep systems, clothing, all sorts of cool stuff to show you guys. So pretty cool. It worked great. It's super efficient. Very easy to control with the damper and the uh, input intake uh great there so love it and uh just gonna finish off the food here and we're gonna pack it back up all right guys so hope you enjoyed that video today like i said there's gonna be more to come on the seek outside tp now that i have my own and the seek outside titanium box stove which worked excellent today didn't quite get it fully burned in but i will definitely do so in the near future and i'm gonna take you guys along did i mention i love this sabra pan Everything that we had out there today, I'm able to pile onto this pack. Now, when I go for an overnight, I'm gonna take a larger backpacking style pack and I have a new one of those to show you from Teton Sports. 
So lots more gear to come and some trips coming up as well. So hopefully you like this video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Leave me some comments below. Make sure you share this video to all your friends and family who might be interested in checking it out on your social media. You can check out my social media, my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Google Plus by clicking show more and looking in the description. It's in the description of every video. I'm also gonna put a link below to Seek Outside where you can check out their teepees. They have four man, six man, eight man, I believe 12 man, and they have stoves and they have lots of other cool stuff on their website as well. So I'm gonna put a link to that below. As always guys, if you haven't already done so, please click that red subscribe button and subscribe for more videos.